Oh, I think I have an answer to your question. Um, <laughs> 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 it takes a minute. But uh, the, um, uh, the, the reservoir uh, uh, swimming scene, mm. Um, mm. just because oh, yeah. of the... Oh. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Um, please uh, welcome to the stage um, David Robert Mitchell and Andrew Garfield. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Did you guys let me go? Woo! All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Um, Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, yeah, but the mics are really working today. <laughs> <laughs> really well. Remind David to bring the mic close to his mouth because he gets very um, uh, passionate in his answers. You'll catch some of what I say in other parts. Did you say microphone? Thank you guys so much for coming out tonight and um, and joining us for the screening. I really appreciate it. This is this is really fun. I I was saying in the introduction that I absolutely love this film. I've seen about four or five times. <laughs> Um, and I still have so many questions for <laughs> um, So we're going to answer all of my questions tonight. I want everybody to be soft. No, um, David, tell me, let's start with the genesis of this project. Like, what, um, how long have you sort of wanted to tell this story? What, what was the story that actually started about this project? Well, uh, boy, it's, it's kind of hard to answer that, honestly. Um, the, uh, I wrote the script, I think it was... I wrote the script in 2011, I believe, or 2012, somewhere around there. Um, and it just, uh, I had a few ideas. Um, I, the songwriter sequence and um, uh, a few other things. My wife and I were talking about you know, this idea of like, you know, what strange things might be happening up in those houses in the hills? <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you know, I had a few of the ideas and it just kind of uh, came to me with the, I, I, I drank an enormous amount of, uh, of coffee very caffeinated, <laughs> and um, I wrote the script. <laughs> I, I didn't think you were going to say coffee. <laughs> <laughs> coffee. Um, yeah. So, okay, <laughs> and so the, talk to us a little bit about the casting process and, and sort of how you got involved uh, and, 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 and what that was like. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, well, you know, um, uh, I'm just a big fan of Andrews. He, uh, he's okay. a, a fantastic actor. He's amazing, and I... Um, uh, I felt like he you know, would, would be wonderful in this role. You know, it's a very, um, you know, it's a, it's a character that goes to some very dark places, uh, and I, I felt like you know, he has that um, a, 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 a charm and a charisma to be able to help the audience um, sort of, you know, carry them through the, some of these, these very dark paths of, of this film. So, um, I don't know, I, I, uh, I got the script to Andrew, and, um, and we're just going to pretend like we're not announcing the giant for this. Um, and so, can you tell us a little bit about what it was that really drew you to this project and, and why you wanted to push the ball? I was um, I was in my master phase. I was uh, I was in my master phase. Okay. I was I was busy exploring. Myself as a master. Um, I, was, uh, I just, I just finished um, being a master in 16th century Japan, and then, I, and then I was in the middle of being a master in World War Two and a half an hour, and uh, in my imagination, of course. Um, and uh, I read this fucking crazy thing, and, and, and it was the opposite. It was like um, the anti-hero, uh, even though I believe. That So I, I just loved it, and, um, and, and I, I read it and I thought, this is, uh, 
But not only that, it was also, I, I was in a place in my life where I needed to balance my psyche out, but, but, but also I, I just loved it. I just genuinely would, it felt like I was reading like as if Sean Astin's character from The Goonies had, hadn't let go of the quest um, and hadn't let go of the idea of buried treasure. And I thought this is really fucked up, the rest are kind of like amazing. Um, and I, I, I never got to make a, a, like, a, a Goonies part when I was with my friends as, as like with my PHS account. So, uh, and it is a fucked up Goonies as well, you know. It, and and I, 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 just, I just thought it was so unique, so singular. I know, you know, I, I love it for those, I love it. Yeah. And, and, and I and we live in a roof on Skype and, and I I just I just thought this is one of those rare times where it went worse than ever. So, but when you read it, do you with a script like this, I was wondering like, do you sort of get it right away? Or are you like, I have no questions. <laughs> or you fall in love and you're like, I have no really questions. <laughs> Like, no, no questions. It was, it was, uh, it was all the page, self-explanatory, and uh, you know, do I get to beat up kids? The answer is yes. Um, so it was, a, it was an answer for me. No, I mean, no, it was, it was, it was countless questions, too, and 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 questions that David did not answer for me. Um, and uh, but, but but what was amazing is that he 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 wants. He wants the character, he, I don't want to speak the but he, no, 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 he feels anonymous, right. and he feels, he feels like he's kind of he's kind of everyone to, to whatever degree, whether we like it or not. Like I I, I, I can see myself in him, which yeah. is scary. Um, <laughs> and, and so and it's wonderful because you kind of go, you've got to integrate these parts of yourself. So so no, I I had all these questions I had to answer for myself. And, and, you know, I mean, I'm going to keep it. You know, Peter did discuss like, what he might do as a job. But he really allowed me to kind of make my own history for the character, just for myself, so I knew where I was coming from. No, I, I oh, but for, I mean, for the obvious, the, I mean, the, the film is a mystery, but then the, the character is a mystery. Right, right, right. No, no I, I totally get what you're saying. Like, I feel like this is all my friends in Los Angeles, where I'm just like, how do you pay your rent? Right. I don't understand what your life is. It's so yeah, it's it's the great mystery. Right? How are all of you paying your rent? How are all of you paying your rent? I don't understand. It's true. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we're really shed light on that. <laughs> the answer is just prompted twelve more questions. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. It just um, <laughs> seemed interesting. So we answer the same question. The honest answer, uh, you know, is um, I know uh, Jerry uh, was just fantastic for that part. And, um, okay. And uh, that's fair. You know, we we wanted him to, to in that role. Were you thinking about him the whole time? Would you? I, I, I'm the truth. We came up with looking around for you know who the right person was. It was a tricky thing. And honestly, that was a, it was a tricky scene because you know it was one of those where I I felt I was very excited about what it was on the page and, and what yeah. imagined that it could be, and I, I was also very scared of that scene. It's one of those where this could either be really wonderful or be you know just. It could be a disaster if it's not done just right. Mm. Um, in terms of, um, I mean, uh, just uh, the, the tone of the, of the performance for the, for the songwriter and the the um, uh, the, uh, the medley, mm -hmm. um, just yeah. the, the whole thing um, was was something that we we put a, a ton of work into from like pre pre production to pre production and, and production and, and everything uh, in post. Uh, and you know, I'm very happy with it. We were, you know, very excited about how it turned out, but um, it was um, it was a, it was a tricky one. It's, you know, there's always like, like a couple scenes in a film where you're like, I'm not quite sure, you know, how we're gonna do that. What was the other one? So, in this, um, uh, I don't know, off the top of my head, I have to think about it for a minute, but um, that's the big one. Yeah. Uh, that's the big tricky one, huh? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is that one that you? You can think of? Um, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff where it was like, how are we going to pull this off? 
I feel like the scene with the squirrel is like, yeah. 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 Oh, well, that, yeah, that was actually, that was kind of fun. <laughs> I mean, giving direction to the, you know, um, the dying squirrel. The scum is really, the scum is the top. Oh, like, oh, the scum was a very serious machine that was behind me, and you had to, like, split the shawl, and then there was, like, a puppet of scum. And the scum almost got away. And then there was a real scum. Yeah, the bush is, yeah. That's that was a fun compliment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a scum you were really injured. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he was generous. He was super generous. Uh, he kind of he flowed with what, whatever was happening in the moment. That was kind of like, okay, yes, yeah, Oh, I didn't even have an answer to your question. I think not. It just takes a minute. But uh, the, um, uh, the, the reservoir uh, uh, swimming scene, mm. Um, mm. just because oh, yeah. of the... Oh. God. Uh, just that was brutal. Yeah. Totally worth it. That was like that was one of the most exciting scenes to film because you know you, we knew that it was going to look beautiful and haunting and kind of wild and odd and sexy and all these different things. But, you know, God, it's one of those things where you go, oh, yeah, the reality of actually fucking doing this is all... <laughs> I mean, not like, fuck, oh, come on, anyway, we've got to make a movie, so, you know, I'm not really playing. Well, that's interesting, though. Let's talk a little bit about, like, locations. Like, I love that we're, we're showing this film here in the Dome here yeah, today, in Los Angeles, um, and then, you know, right around the corner from Silver Lake. Um, David, tell me a little bit about like your sort of like history with the, the east side of Los Angeles and these locations. And Andrew, like you spent a good amount of time in Los Angeles. Like, do you guys um, like when you guys are making this movie? What's that? What's that like? What's that relationship like with? Um, so you guys shot that scene in an actual lake? Uh, no. Um, no, I mean some parts, and it was like some of. Uh, like plates and things were done there. We actually got oh, okay. to go in, but uh, no, that was like um, some tank work. But, but like, like you were shot like a standard downtown LA. LA. Yeah, we, yeah. I mean, we were. Were there were specific specific locations, locations that were like very important for this film? Yeah, or? I mean, um, most of them. I mean, the ones in there, they, were, they sort of had to be what they were. Like I drive past that, that high school every day with the, the scoreboard, yeah. and yeah. now I think about this movie every yeah. fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys yeah, I mean, it was you know, it was written um, you know about sort of um, you know the neighborhoods and, and places that I passed by that I was around and that sort of informed it, um, and or or just places that I you know that they're kind of the some of them are the sort of common but yet iconic places um, uh, that, you know um, that people would hang out um, in the city. Uh, so you know, it's just a, a collection of things that, that maybe some of which meant something to me. Um, you know, th another cool one is the um, uh, Bronson Cave. We did the oh, yeah, sort of yeah, yeah. The, the Crypt Club. Um, uh, our um, production designer had this idea. We were, we were going to build that on the stage, and then he was like, "Oh, you know, what, what if we what if we actually build that in the in the cave over there?" Oh, and so cool. we you know, put that little club uh, where uh, where Andrew dances, you know, to REM. Uh, we did that, you know, actually in Bronson Cave, which there's so many movies that film there, so it's really, you know, so cool. uh, it's really exciting, actually. But um, and that was one of the neatest uh, um, uh, sets, actually. Mm. Yeah. And do you live on the east side? Uh, a little further right now, but I, but I've lived all over Los Angeles and, and a lot of years um, in like uh, Los Feliz and, and Silver Lake and that water and all over. What's your exact address? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, what about you? Do you have, like, I mean, you've been to Los Angeles, I mean, you've been to Los Angeles, or were certain, like, areas that the films were spoke to you, or? I was, I was born here. Yeah, I was born here. Right. Um, you, you can tell my accent. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, but I was raised in England, obviously. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I have a lot of hate relationship with that. Like, I think all of us probably do. Um, but, and I think that's one of the reasons why I so responded to the script, because I think the script kind of captures that uh, romanticizing, yeah. uh, and a little bit like the story about, you know, filming that, that scene in a tank, you know? It's like, oh my god, the dream, the scene is going to be, and then the reality is pretty fucking awful. Like, I think, like, LA to me is, is, is the best of both extremes. 
uh, like I'm gonna go to In-N-Out after this, which is amazing, <laughs> and like, I get to go home and watch the playoffs, but at the same time, I, I, land, my, like, I land here from London, I've just had lots of time off, and I've been to do with my family and my friends in England, and I land in LA, and as soon as I land here, I start to care about things that I just shouldn't care about, like a box office, <laughs> and, like, and like, who's doing what, and I suddenly think, oh, I'm amazing <laughs> with my life. <laughs> Everyone is so much better than I am. You're a piece of shit. Like, that, that person comes up in my uh, psyche. And I agree with Like, it's all about, like, just, just by being in a city, like, the consciousness of the city just kind of, I don't know, it kind of encourages things to arise. And I, I kind of, yeah, I find that really interesting. No one should care about box office. Why is that news? I don't understand. Just make it all bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so, all right, let's drill down, down to the important thing. thing. Well, what are you getting at now? Don't, don't forget, forget to get chopped chips. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it nice and spicy. Back me up. He told me about four different onions. I thought that was a little bit You got to do four different onions. No? Um, so, so the other thing I talked to, to, when I talk to people about this film, uh, I love talking about the you know, geography of Los Angeles, but I, I often talk about this film in terms of the other films that it, Echoes that it reminds me of. Um, were there other films that you guys talked about while making this film? Other films that David you you watched or or or, or thought of while you're writing this film? Um, either noir films or Los Angeles films or yeah, sure. I, I'm sure there's a lot. I mean, I, when I'm writing something, I'm not necessarily like directly thinking, you know, it's like this. But when something's written, I can look back and I can go, oh, it's. Um, I'm sure I was on some level inspired by this and this and this. I mean, I mean there's a lot, um, and probably more than I am even aware of on some level, but um, some of the big ones are like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Kiss Me Daddy, I think, sure. inspired a certain element of sadism in the film. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, uh, Chinatown, Long Goodbye, um, Body Double, some Antonioni, uh, a lot of stuff, um, for sure. Uh, but it's not so much like as I'm, you know, writing and directly thinking these things, but, but I can see it. And it's so interesting to me to hear um, when like other filmmakers are inspired by your work, like we were just sort of talking in the green room a minute ago that um, uh, Jordan Peele said that It Follows is one of the big films that he wanted to have as a touchstone for him making us. That's what I thought that was so interesting. Um, Andrew, what, were there other films, were there films that you were thinking about or that you guys talked about? Well, 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 yeah, David gave me a big list of things, and uh, I, I kind of watched them all. Um, uh, the, the one that, I, that really I was a touch of for me was The Long Goodbye, and yeah. the other people did that. There was, there was a kind of energy that, that he had in that, which I just thought was so delicious, and like, I kind of wanted to steal it and, and you know, apply it to Sam, make it, make it Sam, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, Sam, Sam is absolutely his own thing. Uh, so those guys are kind of like, um, sort of like bumbling, but yet competent. Is that sort of huh. a fair? It's not it's definitely bumbling. bumbling. <laughs> uh, I don't know about competent. Uh, I think it's longing. You know, yeah. what I love about Sam is that he's got these, he's got these deep longings and uh, these unmet desires, and they're, they're kind of turning inward on themselves because um, they, they are unmet. And what happens when we uh, when we don't get to the treasure, or when we find that the that the treasure is empty? Like, how do you reconcile a world that is unfair? How do you reconcile with a, with a world that, um, that, that that is constantly reminding you of your your not belonging or your kind of exiled kind of uh, feeling? Uh, I think I think that was really interesting as well. Yeah. Um, well, you know what, I, I, I just, I don't really know how else to articulate how much I, I love this film. Uh, Andrew, I love your performance so much. David, I think you're an incredible filmmaker. I can't see 
wait to see what you guys see next. Um, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for tonight. But thank you guys so much for sticking around. Thank you, Thank you so much. 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 Thank you